Hey everyone, it's time for another community build video. Lately, I've been obsessed with hack squats, so that's what we're looking at. These start off super simple, but the video ends with some crazy shit, so make sure you're watching all the way to the end. All these people have social media accounts, so make sure you look them up and show them some love. All right, I'm done bossing you around. Let's dive in. Before someone yells at me to just do the original hack squat, here you go. It's arguably the easiest DIY to accomplish and it seems to have some set of benefits that I'm not really privy to. Either way, it looks good. Try it. If you want to try it, do it. Not exactly a hack squat, but I wanted to show this one because it might be a pretty decent alternative. Exercise ball and some Bowflex dumbbells. I feel like it's getting some core stabilization worked in here as well. Like it looks pretty tough. Look at his face. Ugh, I know that feeling, bro. I love the production quality of this video. So this gets the award for least expensive option. We have a roller, bands, weights for elevation of the heels, got the water jugs in the hands and a foam roller. This guy gets extra kudos for balancing the roller against like that four by four post. You could easily like go off balance and, uh, and just, you know, eat shit right there. Nice one. Similar concept, she's using a kettlebell instead of water jugs. And of course she's got the foam roller against the wall rather than a, a little four by four post. So definitely more stable. It's simple and effective. There you go. The thing I don't love about the foam roller option is that it looks like it's kind of uh, crooked a little bit and it's, it's gonna be hard, you know, when you're putting it behind your back, hard to get everything perfectly straight. The added benefit is a back massage during the movement. So that's, uh, that's a nice little bonus perk. Same concept, he's doing double bands and no weights in his hands. He's also doing like a half rep and a full rep. By the look on his face, it seems to be pretty effective. Now, I haven't tried this. I personally would rather use something more stable like a skateboard. It's definitely a, a decent option and a pretty low cost option if you already have all that stuff. Personally, this is one of my favorites. I just have a bias towards any type of skateboarding stuff. So I got a skateboard. I can do this at home, easy peasy. She's using a medicine ball. Here's another option. He's got dumbbells in his hands, but as long as you don't mind scuffing up your wall, it's a pretty good option. This is the last one of these and he's, instead of a skateboard, he's using a glute ham roller, just flips it behind his back, goes down, grabs a dumbbell, and there you go. Looks good, man. So this one's pretty similar to the Henny pendulum squats I featured recently. It's just, he's flipped around. So he's using a transformer bar and uh, looks pretty comfortable. Now we're getting into the category of landmine hack squats. This is the most basic version. I've tried this one. I like it. It works great. Um, simple to set up and most people already have this stuff. The only downside is you can't go super heavy because it gets uncomfortable with the barbell on the shoulder. I mean, if you're doing like low weight, high reps, it's perfect. The next step up is the linebacker attachment. Now I know technically he didn't make this linebacker, but we're talking about doing hack squats without a hack squat machine. So this technically still counts. The linebacker attachment allows you to add more weights and it's got padding on it. So it's a bit more comfortable. So I think it's a pretty good option. You can do it forward facing like he's doing, or you can flip around and do it like this guy. So his technically is DIY. He's made all this stuff you see in this gym, but there you go. Loaded up super heavy. He's got padding on there. It's comfortable. He's getting all the way down there. That's a really, really good range of motion. That's a pretty decent option, dude. I feature this dude in almost every video and it's because he's made so many things. His entire gym is filled up with awesome DIYs that he made. This is his landmine linebacker version and it it's not like a beautiful build, but it gets the job done. This one's super interesting. It looks like it was made from a bunch of rack scraps. I like the design of this. I don't love the weight placement. If you look at how much they move in relation to how much his body's moving, they're not moving very much, but that's an easy fix. You can add some weights to like the top part of it and balance that out. All in all though, this is a, it's a very cool design. It's time for a palette cleanser. This is the most bizarre DIY hack squat I came across. It looks more like a back scratcher or body tempering, but like, I mean, look at that dude. He's super shredded. So like I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I love this slash hate this. I think it's a really cool design, but the idea of the bar sliding up and down the uprights just 
Ugh, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. Cool idea though. So Shredded Dad basically takes this idea a step farther. He wraps the knurling in masking tape. That way it's protecting his rack. You can still see like the residue from the masking tape is getting on the upright. So it's not perfect, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. And then I was inspired by this. So I bought some HDPE and attached that to my rack and God, it works so well. It is time to kick things up a notch. Here, we witness the evolution of a rack attached hack squat. Starting off with the skateboard, SSB, he's got spotter arms and a wood ramp. It's not the safest, but this is sort of how we build from, you know, this is the foundation that we build upon. Some of the, the fundamental elements are there and, you know, he's, he's doing something that has not existed, doesn't exist in the world. So yeah, everybody's got to start somewhere. So one of the coolest elements of this design is that when he's not using it, he just pulls up the rampart and leans it against the wall. So it's out of the way and it's not taking up any space. So the second version uses tracks to replace the skateboard and adds weight pegs in lieu of the SSB. Definitely safer. The third version adds a catch at the beginning and end of the set. It's getting like more and more professional with every version. And this is the last video he posted. He is doing 320 pounds, 10 reps. It looks super smooth. It looks solid. Like, there we go, man. I wouldn't be surprised if a company reached out and wanted to build a metal version of this. I wonder if it would be cost effective because of all the components, but like I could see a market for something like this. I posted that last one on Instagram and Lydia decided to make her own. So she built this solely based off of the videos that David Evans posted. Just amazing. That's incredible. I featured Matt's leg press in my DIY leg press roundup, and here's the modified version for hack squats. So unfortunately, I don't have any videos of this one in use, but I still had to feature it just because it looks so nice. I love the idea of attaching it to the wall if you don't have to move it. So it's got a leg press on one side and vertical hack squat on the other side. It's like a machine version of the skateboard hack, just much safer and on tracks and able to add weight safely. So cool, man. Last but not least is this beast of a hack squat machine. Like nobody has space for this in their home gym, but man, what an amazing piece of work. It's gorgeous, it's humongous, it probably weighs a literal ton, but it's just incredible, amazing. I've featured their stuff before, and honestly, I'm just a super fan. I love everything they do. And that's it for this community roundup. If I missed anyone, make sure to let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.